welcome back to Xavier's World. How are you guys doing today? Today, guys, I want to talk about empath. Okay, now, there's all different types of empaths out there today, okay? And, you know, nobody has to judge if somebody says they're an empath, you don't know what they know or what they're capable of. Anyway, I have, like, this ability to... Sometimes I see things and, you know, I don't know if it's like saying they're spirits, whatever. I see things. And sometimes I sense things before they even happen. I get like this electric charge that goes through my body. Like I get this feeling that something, you know, I could be just walking in a grocery store or being in the car, sitting on the couch, something. And I'll get this feeling like something's not right. Something's going to happen. Either it's going to be a phone call, somebody died, something good is going to happen, something. And my intuition is always, always right on point. And to kind of share with you guys kind of an example, this person that I knew okay I had come home from work one night and I was going to bed and I was right at that point where you're like you still hear things but you're asleep you know what I mean you can still like you're in that realm like you're just in a deep sleep almost and I got this urge feeling to something was telling me open your eyes open your eyes and look and I opened my eyes and I looked and there he is standing right there in my face and I'm I'm like is this real or fake you know like is he really standing there or is this just a dream but I can't move I'm like frozen and it's cold you know it's cold in the room and he's telling me that everything's gonna be okay he's okay I'm gonna be okay don't worry just go on and be happy and that was it I remember the biggest smile on his face and he walked away my phone rang my mom answered the phone and this was like at 3 30 in the morning when this happened and my mom came in the room and said, Courtney, I hate to tell you this, but so-and-so just died. And I was like, I had tears just rolling down my cheek. You know, my mom was like, why, why are you crying? I'm like, mom, my mom was like, why are you crying? And I was like, mom, he was just here. And my mom was still on the phone with this person's family member. And I said, was he wearing such and such outfit when he died? And she was like, how the hell did you know that? Yes, he was wearing that when he died. It's just stuff like that. Really, it freaked me out. I couldn't believe it. And my mom was in shock. Like, how the hell did you know he was wearing that when he died? You weren't even there. I said, mom, I don't know how. I just know. So, I, you know, just stuff like that just happens, you know. And then sometimes I get these feelings like I can meet somebody. And sometimes I can sense that there's something off about them. That there's something not right. But I don't know what it is. There's just something about them that just makes me feel very uncomfortable. And when I get that feeling, I get the hell out of there because I don't want to be around this person if something bad is with them and usually my friends will tell me that if you sense something like that you need to leave because that's something telling you there's something not right about this situation so you know I don't know if it's just you know I, I don't know what it is but I feel like that and I always and sometimes I can feel 
sometimes I can just look in somebody's eyes and I can sometimes feel their sadness or their happiness or their their pain I can just almost feel like you know they must have had a hard life you know and I have a great great connection with older people I have a better connection with old people I don't know why but I I'm drawn more to them and I don't know I just feel more comfortable and more comfort with them I don't know why um, I get along I guess and I talk more to older people and they like talking to me because they will tell me things and they'll talk about the old days you know and this and that and, and it's great to hear stuff like that and I just sometimes I could just either put my hand on them or sometimes just look them in the eyes and I could feel when they're describing a story that happened to them I could feel their pain or I could feel that happiness at that moment when they were a kid or I could feel that I could feel that and sometimes I hate that feeling that I have that ability because it just it saddens me whenever I could feel their pain it saddens me and it makes me you know hurt because I wish I could have snapped and made their pain go away I wish I could take their pain away but there's you can't take away somebody's pain you you can't it's impossible it's like you walking up and saying I'm going to heal you, I'm going to take your cancer away from you, and I'm going to take the cancer myself. You can't do that. That's impossible. And you can just be there for them, comfort them, make them feel better. But you can't always take away someone's pain. It's impossible. You'll never understand what they went through. You'll never understand how they really feel. You can imagine, but you'll never be able to feel what they felt. And, you know, I just wanted to share with you guys just my empath kind of story. You know, um, I, I sympathize on people. I feel, I can imagine what they felt like when they lost their parents or they lost a loved one in a car accident and they watched them die I mean you can't imagine you can't feel what they felt that moment you can only imagine like oh god if that would have been me that would have just killed me you can't really feel what they felt at that moment you can only imagine and you know so Anyway, that's my story. I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit that bell so you'll be notified when we upload a video. And if you guys had experiences like that, please leave them in the comments down below. Let me know what you experienced. Um, but yeah, um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you guys all next time here on Xavier's World. Until then, remember... God does love you. Bye.